trainer tip we are getting into the holidays so here is your healthy holiday powerpoint i say that uh we'll say talk your healthy holiday discussion on things so we want to make sure that we are using healthy swaps for classic meals using greek yogurt or avocados instead of sour cream um veggie noodles instead of a pasta if you are an italian family that has big ziti or lasagna they make tons of different pastas now they make brown rice pasta they make red lentil green lentil they make chickpea flour and black bean and there's a bunch of different options out there that are going to be better for you and more fulfilling and have more protein and just overall better than pasta um you might do like a cauliflower mash added to a potato or sweet potato just to add in more vegetable diversity um making sure that we're maybe doing a grilled or a baked fruit instead of a pie if you like pie great do it up just don't overdo it and make sure you if you are doing pies make them homemade they're gonna be better off than you buying them from the store it's not gonna have all of those weird ingredients and preservatives in them um instead of doing a casserole which can be very like soup heavy again unless you're really making that from scratch um just saute some veggies you know green bean casserole versus a sauteed green bean is going to be healthier for you. Um, making sure you're having like healthier dips like this hummus or tzatziki or like a really nice charcuterie board or more crudite instead of like cheese balls and French onion dip. Um, try to bake things over frying things. Um, if you are going to fry things, uh, use avocado oil. Uh, that smoke point is a little bit higher uh, than olive oil. Olive oil after 350 will become rancid and then that just becomes any inflammatory oil anyway. Um, use olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, ghee instead of vegetable oil. Um, try and get fresh or frozen, never canned or boxed. You want to swap out your bread rolls for some homemade whole grain rolls. Again, if you're going to do those things, those baked goods, make them yourself. I know it can take more time, but it's also going to taste so much better um lean white meats over dark meat in moderation again it really is only if you have like the time to separate that otherwise it doesn't really matter um cider instead of eggnog using herbs and spices over like a crap ton of salt is also going to be good um instead of candy or cookies chocolate covered or dusted things like nuts um if you can have nuts if not moderate it to an extent read your ingredients labels i know that the holidays are normally a time when we really really indulge but we still want to be mindful obviously one day isn't going to hurt you in the long run at all so take all of this with a grain of salt but if this is like your normal eating pattern come talk to me <laughs> um, please um and then making sure that like, we're avoiding a lot of fried things right fried apps and things like that, make it more fresh. Um, another thing to remember is don't starve yourself in the morning. Please eat a regular breakfast. Please follow your hunger and fullness cues. It's gonna allow you to not overindulge. It's going to allow you to not binge eat on these holidays, which is not what we want anyway. A lot of people are like, I'm not gonna eat until that time because I'm gonna eat so much food. Don't do it. Follow your hunger cues, eat like a normal human being. It is just another day but it has potentially better food. That is it. Um, a couple of hand gestures that I like to use because you always have your hands on you for portion control. Um, a half a cup is this bottom part. So it's this, this right here. Um, an ounce is gonna be that little cup here on your hand. Tablespoon is the top of your thumb. Teaspoon is the top of your pointer finger. Three ounces is the palm of your hand and a cup is the full palm. Anything that's a leafy green, a cup is a big handful, okay? So those are always on you if you're like, oh man, I feel like I'm really overindulging. Just use your hand portion control gestures. Okay, so some tips and tricks. Everything is in moderation. I do say that that normally does not work, but again, it is a holiday. One day is not going to mess up 365 days of potential progress, okay? Um, moderation for everyone is going to be, it's going to vary. Like, you know, some people... For, we'll take a pizza, for example, or like, actually, let's go cookies because Christmas cookies are huge. Moderation for a lot of people for cookies, say we're just going to do Oreos, like a package of Oreos, or even like your grandma's old school Italian cookies where there's like tons and tons of them and there's a whole dessert table and all that. Um, normally, in moderation, it doesn't mean one of everything. 
um, in moderation for some people, maybe like I'm going to have 20 cookies. Um, regular moderation is just like two and that's it. Um, so when I say everything in moderation, it really does vary. But again, one day does not mess up 365 days in the long run. So just please keep that in mind. We're not trying to form any disordered eating patterns here. All right. Uh, make your plate, your plate as colorful as you can. That's going to make sure you're getting variety. Make sure you're getting the nutrients and the macros and the micros that you need for your body. Um, choose your clear liquids, water, vodka, gin, rum, club soda, seltzer water, tonic water, all of those things. Um, if you are worried about calories, those are going to be your lesser calorie drinks that you can still obviously drink your alcohol. Um, don't skip meals again. Don't go to a party with an empty stomach. You're just going to binge. I promise you. And then you're going to feel terrible, terrible about yourself later. And we don't want that either. Um, eat until you're satisfied and not stuffed. Really pay attention to your body cues and listen to your body. You can always take leftovers. People love that. Um, eat slowly. Take your time. Focus on the people around you. Enjoy the meal. Enjoy the family. Enjoy the friends. Enjoy whatever it is with that holiday. Try not to feel guilty. Okay. This is, like I said, another one where we can potentially restrict and binge the entire day. You'll feel guilty about it and you'll say, screw it, I'm just gonna do this until the new year. And it's not what we want. Again, one day doesn't mess up 365, but 300 of 365 days will. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, wait 10 to 15 minutes before going up for seconds. This is gonna give your GI tract time to alert your brain of your hunger and satiation cues. And then the last tip is avoid anything that says diet, low fat, low anything, weird things, no sugar, blah, unless you're diabetic, blah, blah, blah. Um, because something else is put in there to make it that way. Um, and it's normally not good things. Normally other preservatives, other random things, um, artificial sugars, like more corn products, like those type of things. Do your best to try and make everything from scratch if you can. That's my best option for you. Um, if you have any questions or concerns about your holiday and how to just make better choices, feel free to comment below.